So our objective, I can factor quadratic trinomials with leading coefficients greater than 1. I can factor quadratic trinomials with leading coefficients greater than 1. Let's read it together. 1, 2, 3. I can factor quadratic trinomials with leading coefficients greater than 1. So now check this out. Uh, for your title, you can write this. Everybody look up, please. Uh, you can write... Uh, quadratic trinomials, and then you just write LC greater than 1. So like that, you know that we're going to be factoring quadratic trinomials with leading coefficient greater than 1, okay? Because up to right now, we've been factoring quadratic trinomials last week, but the if you notice, the very first term did not have a number greater than 1, okay? All right, so with that said, we already know what quadratic trinomials are. You don't have to copy this, right? We already have these notes. Uh, we also know the steps. Just to reemphasize, let's see if we remember. First of all, we need to check for the GCF. Next, we open two parentheses. Then we factor the first term. Remember that? Yeah. Then at the end, we draw our uh, Power Ranger, and then we factor the last two terms. Then at the end, we just write our factors and we check. How do we check? By multiplying and finding out if, it, if we get the same thing that we started with. Everybody got it? Yeah. All right, so with that said, let's get started. Copy this down, please. Example one. Example one, copy this. It says, factor 2x squared plus 12x plus 10. And then we're going to check our answer. 2x squared plus 12x plus 10. All right, here we go. Pens down, please. Eyes up here. I'm going to go through the entire process to make sure we got this. Here you go. Step one, greatest common factor. Let me see. Uh, does the number divide each of the terms? Yes. yes. A two. Does the variable divide each of the terms? No. no. So we're done. So I open up a big parenthesis and let's see. What is 2x squared divided by 2? 1x squared. What is 12x divided by 2? Plus 6x. What is 10 divided by 2? Plus 5. Copy that, please. All right. Pens down, eyes up here. So check this out. So look at the inside of this parentheses. Do we know how to factor this type of expression? Yes. Since we already got the GCF, now we just need to focus in here after that GCFO is our next step. Open to parentheses. Factor the first term. What is the first term? X times X. And then from there, I get my Power Rangers going. And then what is the middle? The, the sum is 6. And what is the, uh, the product? 5, and what are the factors of 5 that give me a sum of 6? 1 times 5, and I'm going to say 5 times 1 because the order doesn't matter, right? I'm going to put a times up here so I can remember that that's the product and this is the sum. So my two factors that I'm going to add here are plus 5, plus 1. Now check this out. We're almost done. Everybody look up, please. Now, who notices that we started off with a GCF? Okay. Well, the GCF, everybody look up, we need to bring that down together with these factors. We cannot leave them behind. Or if you want to look at it like this, notice that uh, throughout your day you have like a group of friends that you hang out with, and there's always that one person that hang out with you that you're like always dragging behind, right? And they always come, and they always hang out, and you're all like, oh, here they come again. Okay, okay. Well, the GCF, imagine the GCF is like that. They're not going to leave. They cannot leave. They have to stay with a group. So here they come again, so you need to bring the GCF down. There they are. All right? I want you to write. So, therefore, the factors, if we look up, the factors of 2x squared plus 12x plus 10 are 2 x plus 5 and x plus 1. So I want you to write factors. 
Now let's check it. To check, we need to multiply. So first things first, I'm going to multiply first the two binomials. So check this out. What is x times x? x squared. X squared. What is x times 1? One? 1x. One what is 5 times x? That's 5x. What is 5 times 1? That is 5. Now check this out. Combine like terms. 1x plus 5x, that is 6x. I bring down the x squared, and I bring down the plus 5. However, I'm not done multiplying. Why? Because we still have that one friend that always comes and wants to hang out. So here they come, the 2. And what do we have to do? Distribute at the end. This becomes what? 2x squared plus 12x plus? 10. That's how we check. Did we get the same thing that we started with? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do this next one together. Here we go. Example number two. Yeah, cop finish copying that, please. Here we go. Example two. Copy this down. Example two. For this next one, you don't have to copy the words. Just copy the polynomial. You already have the words for the first one. Negative 3x squared minus 9x minus 6. Negative 3x squared minus 9x minus 6. Okay? So see if you can do that one by yourself. I'm, I'll give you a head, a head start, and then I'll go over this again with you. Go. All right. So let's see. Pens down, eyes up here. Stop what you're doing, and I want you to go check every step as I go along but I want you to look up first so we can get started. Here we go. Step one, greatest common factor. What number divides the first term, the second, and the third term? Oh, wow. Give me a second. All right, here we go. So, first of all, the number is 3, but do you notice that all of them have a negative, so this is a negative 3. From now on, pay attention to what I'm about to say. From now on, if the leading coefficient has a negative, doesn't matter if the other two don't, you factor out a negative number. Let me repeat that again. If the leading coefficient has a negative, it doesn't matter if the other two don't, you factor out a negative. Tell your neighbor what I just said, please. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, from there, we open a big parenthesis. So let's see. What is negative 3 divided by negative 3? 1, and we're left with 1x squared. Negative 9x divided by negative 3, that's positive 3x. Negative 6 divided by negative 3, that's positive 2. From there, we open up two parentheses. Factor the first term, x and x. Get your power rangers going. Du, 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 du. My, my sum is 3 positive, and my product is 2, positive 2. So what two factors of 2 add up to 3? 2 and 1, and I'm going to say 1 and 2 because the order doesn't matter. So, guys, focus. So therefore, this is x plus 1, and this is x plus 2. However, who has to come over? The friend. Here's a friend. Here they come. And, everybody, and I notice that, notice that everybody's like, like, you guys are talking to yourself, and all of a sudden, oh, here, here they come. Oh, here comes the one. Oh, okay. And these are factors. Factors. And once again, let's check it. Let's check to make sure that we got it. Everybody look up. Let's do the check. X times X, that's X squared. X times 2, that's positive 2X. Next, we're going to multiply this second term. 1 times X, that's 1X. 1 times 2, that is 2. Combine like terms. What is 2X plus 1X? 3X. And we bring down the X squared. And we bring down the 2. 
However, don't forget about the friend. Here they come, negative 3. Distribute that, and we get negative 3x squared minus 9x minus 6. Did we end up with the same? Yes, and we're done. Okay? So, so far so good? Okay, here goes another one. You do this one by yourself. This time, I am expected for you to do all the process. Here it goes. Example number 3. Example 3. There it is. Copy the, po the quadratic trinomial, negative 5x squared plus 15x plus 20. Negative 5x squared plus 15x plus 20. Do that one by yourself, please. Go. Okay, here we go. Step 1. GCS. What number divides each of the terms? 5. Okay. But what did I say earlier? That if the first term has a negative, therefore you need to factor out a negative number. So this is negative 5. If you didn't factor out the negative, that's probably why you got it wrong. At the end. Here it goes. Open up a big parenthesis. Negative 5x squared divided by negative 5, that's positive 1x squared. Negative 15x, I'm sorry. 15x divided by negative 5, that's negative 3x. 20 divided by negative 5, that's negative 4. So at that point, I open two parentheses. Factor the first term, which is x times x. And then get our Power Ranger. Let's see. The middle term goes on the bottom, negative 3. That's my sum. The middle term goes on the bottom. The middle term goes on the bottom. The middle term goes on the bottom. My product is negative 4. Product is negative 4. So what factors of 4 can you think of? Two, 1 and 4. So check this out. 1 and 4 gives us 4, right? Okay. So let's see. 1 times 4 gives us positive 4, but one of them has to be a negative. The, this one tells us that the biggest number has to have a what? So the negative 4. So this is x plus 1, x minus 4. And don't forget about the friend. The friend, don't forget about the friend. There it is. Okay. And these are my three factors. And if I was to check it, I'll get the same thing. So I'm going to go to the next one. Here we go. Example 4. And by the way, before we move on, hands if you got this by yourself. Okay? Let's go to number 4. Example 4. Copy this down. Negative x squared minus 8x minus 12. Do this one by yourself, please. See if you can do it a little bit faster now. Go. Okay, here we go. GCF. Let's see. What number divides the first, the second, and the third term? 1, and the leading coefficient has a negative, so it's negative 1. From there, we open two, uh, I mean a, a parenthesis. Negative x squared divided by negative 1, it's x squared. Negative 8x divided by negative 1, that's positive 8x. Negative 12 divided by negative 1, that's positive 12. Hands if you did at least that step right, okay? From there, we open two parentheses. Back to the first term. That is x times x. Get our Power Rangers going. Du, 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 du. Middle term goes on the bottom. This is our sum. Focus, please. Last term goes on the top. This is our product. Guys, focus. What factors of 12 add up to 8? 6 times 2. So this for us is x plus 6, x plus 2, and don't forget about the friend, negative 1. So all these three are my factors. These are my factors. And if we were to check, we just distribute these, and then at the end we we'll multiply times the GCF, and we get the same thing. Is that correct? Hands if you got that by yourself. Okay? All right. So now... So those were the easy ones. Here goes, here goes the next step. Here we go. Copy this one down. Example number five. Example five. 6x squared 
plus 11x plus 4. Copy that. Okay, I'm going to go over this problem. You need to follow along. Don't copy anything down till the end, or else you're going to you're going to miss a step. Okay? Here it goes. These are not the same as the other ones that we've done. Okay? Now, before I get started with this, I do want to point out this. All the previous ones, check this out. In order to set up our Power Ranger, notice the product up here, 12. Usually, and this, this step, I didn't want to tell you to get you more confused to set this up. I just, I'm just going to point it out. What is the coefficient here of x squared? What is 1 times 12? 12. Look at this one. What is the coefficient here of x? 1. What is 1 times negative 4? Okay. How about this one? What is the coefficient here? 1. 1 times 2. That's 2. That's how we get this number. Okay. So now, but I just wanted you to get the setup by, by itself without showing that step so that you wouldn't get confused. So now, check this out. That, that's how it's going to play in this one. First things first. I need to check for GCF. Let's see. Um, the only thing I can divide into each term is a 1. Focus, please. Here it goes. GCF is 1, so I don't worry about it. What I do need to do is open two parentheses. You're just paying attention. You're not writing anything down. Next, I open my Power Ranger. I need to factor the first term, but for right now, I'm going to leave it alone. I go to the Power Ranger. To get this top number, I multiply 6 times 4. That is 24. The middle term never changes. That always goes down here. This is my sum. This is my product. So what factors of 24 add up to 11? Let me see. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. And I'm done. So the only one that I see is 3 times 8. However, these do not go in here. That's what's different about this. When you get a, a quadratic trinomial that has a leading coefficient greater than 1, but that there is no GCF, you have to do this next step. I'm going to rewrite the first term. 11x became uh was what uh i'm sorry it became what three and eight so i write plus three x plus eight x what is my last term plus four so check this out do we know how to factor these by grouping yes i showed you this before so check this out what's my gcf for this one three x six x squared divided by three x that's two x plus, what is 3x divided by 3x? 1. How about this one? GCF is positive 4, and I'm left with 2x plus 1. Now, check this out. What's the same here and here? That's our first factor, 2x plus 1. And what was left over? 3x plus 4. 3x plus 4. Copy that, please. If you want to add uh, some arrows so that you remember where you got these from, do this. You can circle these two like this. Point an arrow this way. And then a little bracket like this, like that. You write this in between here. Now, once again, some of the anxiety in the past that some students say, Mr. Cooper, what if I, if I was to write these the other way around, 8 and 3? The 8x will be here and the 3 will be here. Yeah. However, the answer would be the same. It would be the same. Okay? So the order doesn't matter. What you need to remember is that instead of writing 11x in between, you need to write these two as x. Okay? Copy this next one down. Example number 6. Example 6. 3x squared 
minus 2x minus 8. And let's do this one together. All right, so first things first. Check for GCF. Nope. Does this leading coefficient have a negative? Nope. So from there we open two parentheses. Get your power ranger going. So let's see. What is 3 times negative 8? Negative 24. That's my product. And what's my middle term? Negative 2. That's my sum. All right. So I'm going to list my factors for 24 just so I see it. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, uh, 4 times 6. And I think it repeats after that. So the question is, which one of these pairs of factors add or subtract to give me 2? 4 and 6. 4 and 6. However, the product is a negative. That means one of these has to be a negative, but the sum tells me that the biggest number is a negative. Are we there so far? From there, I'm going to rewrite this. 3x squared, but instead of negative 2, what do I write? Plus 4x and minus 6 x and I bring down the minus 8. Okay, let's factor by grouping. Let's group these two and these two. And notice that we included this negative on the second one, so that, mean, that means we need to write a little plus in between. Okay, so let's see. What is GCF for these two terms right here? 1x, so I'm just going to write x. What do we have left? 3x plus 4. Let's look at this one. What is my GCF for these two? 2. Don't they both have negatives? Negative 2. Open parentheses. Negative 6 divided by negative 2, that's positive 3x. Negative 8 divided by negative 2, that's positive 4. So let's see. What's the same here and here? 3x plus 4, and what is left over? x minus 2, and those are my factors. Do we know how to check from there? Okay, so our homework for tonight, found in page, what is it? 509, numbers 1 through 69, every other odd. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy your homework. I'll see you guys tomorrow.